Today's question concerns the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, and it comes from, let's see here. I'm gonna call you Dave because I am not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize, I'm from Texas. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Dave asks, would love to know your inputs on the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D as the best gaming CPU in the world. Given that you are not a big fan of the 5800X 3D. Well, I wasn't at launch, but I am more a fan now because the price has come down. You can find it for under $300 at times. It's not as bad at the new price. While it is not in the same price range as the i5 13600K, no it isn't, a CPU which I highly recommend, I do. I wonder if the 7800X 3D is considered a true tech deal given the performance for its price. If relevant, thank you so much for including this because it makes all the difference. If relevant, I play at 1440p, 165 hertz, and I'm looking to play current and future AAA games, and I have an RX 7900 XTX. Those sorts of details on these questions mean everything because how do I know if you're not running an RTX 2070 at 1080p and you're playing esports titles? Which would be a completely different answer to what I'm about to tell you. The 7800X 3D is faster in benchmarks as published by some other tech-related YouTube channels who I will not name. If you're running at 1080p and you use an RTX 4090. I have seen a number of other tech channels post videos showing, see, see, the X3D chips are the fastest gaming chips in the world. They beat the i5, they beat the i9, they're amazing. Yeah, at 1080p with an RTX 4090, which is absurd. Now in fairness, at 1440p with an RTX 4090, they still are the fastest gaming CPUs in the world, so long as all you're doing is gaming and you're not running multiple monitors, you have no background tests, you don't care about content creation performance, you're not live streaming games, Battlefield 24, 2042 looking at you. So long as you are just playing games on one monitor, yeah, it's pretty amazing. The problem is, the i5-13600K is also pretty amazing, and the Ryzen 7 7700X is also pretty amazing, and the Ryzen 9 7900X is also pretty amazing. At some point, we're arguing about Ferraris and Lamborghinis here. Well, my car is one-tenth of a mile faster than yours. Well, my car does zero to 60 one-tenth of a second faster than you. Seriously? You all have really nice cars. So many people out there are gaming on i5, 6600Ks, they would love to have any of the above. But of course, you could afford nice hardware and that's understandable. The 7800X 3D is nice when you're benchmarking it, when you are CPU bound and not GPU bound. So if you set yourself up in a situation where the graphics card is not the limiter to performance. Now in fairness, you've got an RX 7900 XTX. That is an amazing graphics card. It is faster in many respects than the RTX 4080, unless you're using DLSS 3, but it is in general a bit faster. It is not as fast as a 4090, but it definitely is a top tier awesome graphics card. However, you said current and future AAA games, 1440p, 165 hertz monitor. Without benchmarks, I don't think you would actually be able to tell the difference in a blind side-by-side -side test between an i5 13600K and a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Maybe benchmarks will show a small difference, but you are far more going to be bound by your beautiful future AAA games than you are by either one of those CPUs. Until the minute your computer wants to do something besides benchmark a game, when we test games, when other tech YouTube channels test games, we have clean test benches with clean installs of Windows, everything's disabled, Windows updates are disabled, background antivirus checks are disabled, everything is turned off, and the only thing running is the game, the launcher, and MSI Afterburner. 
in those conditions, the extra cores and threads of a 13600K really don't matter very much. In the real world, with a real computer, with OneDrive and G Drive loaded, and background updates, and antivirus running, and background music playing, and Discord open, and Twitter open, and YouTube or a Twitch stream open, and playing games, and background tasks running. This is the problem with 8-core chips. An 8-core 16-thread chip was top-tier stuff in 2017 and 2018. 2019, 2020, the i9s, the Ryzen 9 started picking up. It's now 2023. You have a $1,000 graphics card. You're going to put that on an 8-core 16-thread CPU? Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. Sure, for 450 bucks? Eh, yuck. It's just not very interesting. If you believe the 3D chip makes a difference for your particular games, well, thankfully, the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D exists. And while it is obviously more money, you can afford a super premium monitor, you have a $1,000 graphics card. That removes the compromise of cores and threads a bit at a higher price. I also don't think you should buy an i5-13600K either. For what it's worth, for $100 more than the 7800X 3D, you can get an i9-13900K. And the i9-13900K is bloody amazing. 24 cores, 32 threads, technically not as fast in gaming as the 7800X 3D, but it's real close. And the minute you have anything to do besides press launch game, run benchmark, it is a better overall smoother experience. So. If the 7800X 3D were 350, I'd feel different. At 450, honestly, I'm not interested.